Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are living fabulous. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Sincerely Nico. Definitely hit that subscribe button and join the Freedom Army family where it's free to hang out with me and join me on this journey here on YouTube as a POC makeup beauty blogger. So other than that, let's go ahead and get right into this video. As you guys can see what the title is below, the Lancome has partnered up with Influencer and they sent me some awesome items. So if you guys are interested in seeing what came in this box from Lancome Paris, yas honey, definitely stay tuned. And let's go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and let's get right on into it. All right, so Lancome and Influencer sent me a box of items to try out for you guys here on my channel. This is an honest review. This is not a sponsor content as well either, but I do want to give my honest opinion on the items that Influencer sent me based off of Lancome's new Tinta Tall Ultra Wear Foundation. So here's the box right here as you guys can see. And inside the box, they sent me four goodies, of course. So inside the box, Lancome sent me four products for the new campaign, Don't Glow Alone, which is right here. And the face of that campaign is Lupita. Yes, honey, you better slay me, honey. So they sent me four products here. And here are the unicartons for those each item. So I'm going to talk about each of them, of course. So the four items that Lancome had sent me in this influencer box is the Tinta Dot Ultra Camouflage Concealer in the shade 510 Suede C or number 11, the, I guess whatever number it is, um, if you decide to purchase that, of course. They also sent me the Tinta Dot Ultra Foundation Stick with bright Spectrum SPF of 21 in the shade 550 Suede C. I also got the Click Stick as well too, which is one of their newest items to their collection. This is the Click and Go Illuminator Highlighting Skin Fluid Stick in the shade 01 Lumeris Dior. And last but not least, they sent me their lip gloss, the Le Magnifique. Metallic Effect Lip Lacquer in the shade number 9, which is the color Mirror Nude. So I already went ahead and primed my skin. I also did my brows off camera as well too because I don't have any Lancome brow products. Um, and I really want to kind of keep this to Lancome only. So we're going to go ahead and move right on into this video by applying the click stick. So here's the click stick right here. Now I know they have like four or three, four or three different shades of course, um, but I was sent this shade right here which is called Lumiere Dior. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on areas where I want to kind of illuminate underneath my foundation. And let's go ahead and pop this on the cheeks. I definitely love the doe foot or the foot applicator sponge from this product. It makes blending this out very easy. I'm also going to pop just a tad bit underneath the brows and on the bridge of the nose. And then of course a little bit above the brow as well in Cupid's bow. Okay, so after applying this, it feels very lightweight. I don't really feel a lot of heavy, creamy texture on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the foundation. I'm gonna be using the Tinted All Ultra Wear Foundation Stick in Suede 550C. So I pop the foundation everywhere else where I did not put the glow stick, of course, because I don't wanna kinda move it around. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So the foundation is on and I am still very glowy in the areas where I pop the click stick, of course, the click and glow stick. And I'm not mad at it at all. It's very pretty. It's a natural, natural soft matte finish, which is the foundation, of course. And I do have a little bit of luminosity from the click stick being underneath. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop on the concealer underneath the eye and highlight the face. I'm going to be blending that out with my Real Technique Beauty Blender Sponge. So 
So the foundation and concealer is pretty nice. Um, I feel that they very matchy matchy. So if you're looking for a nice natural finish, this is perfect for you. The combination of the 550C and the 510 concealer is a perfect match. I kind of like to be a little more highlighted underneath the eye area, but this concealer blends out pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and set that with one of my setting powders. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D translucent powder to set everything. And I will be right back. Alright, so everything is officially set. I'm going to go back into the click stick and I'm going to illuminate a little bit more just to kind of get more of a better glow. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Alright guys, so honest, honest review on the three items together, the foundation, the click stick, and the concealer. It gives a natural glow to your skin. Even after setting it with the translucent powder, it's still a nice glowy look. I am not mad at it at all. It has a nice reflective property. Well, the click stick definitely has a nice reflective property. It gives me a nice natural sheen. I will be using that, of course, continue using that. Um, the foundation is one of my favorites. I will be using that, of course. The concealer is just a little bit dark, of course. That'll probably be perfect to hide blemishes um, on my skin. But let's move on to the lip gloss. So I'm going to be doing two lip looks for this video, of course. The first look is I'm just going to be using the product as is on the lips and giving my honest review on that. And then I will be probably putting a lipstick underneath just to see if it's a little bit more different or used as a lip topper. All right, guys. So here's the lip gloss or the lip lacquer as is. It's very reflective. I feel like it's a little salient on my lips because it is more of a nudie color and... I feel a little ash coming on. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to pop on a lipstick. Be right back. And I'm going to apply this on top of the lipstick. So the liquid lipstick that I went ahead and put on off camera is from NYX. This is their liquid lingerie in the shade After Hours. I'm going to go ahead and pop on the Lancome lip gloss on top of that to see how that looks. Alright guys, so here's the final look with the lip gloss on it. It gives a kind of tacky feel, so if you're okay with that, definitely pick this up, of course. But I'm about to give you guys my honest review on all four products, so stay tuned. So I'm going to start in kind of reverse, of course. I'm going to start with the lip gloss. This lip gloss definitely reminds me a lot of the Gloss in Love lip gloss from Lancome as well, too. If you're looking for that glassy, glossy look, this is a great alternative if you can't get your hands on the Gloss of Love. I don't know if they still have this on their website or on the gondolas in the Ulta or Sephora or even at the major department stores. I don't know if they still sell this. But this is a great alternative as well too. It is kind of more metallic -y, while this is more glittery. But nevertheless, it still gives a nice glossy glass-like finish underneath lipsticks. The camouflage concealer is also really beautiful as well too. Uh, personally, I would probably pick up a lighter shade, a little more yellow, um, just to kind of ultra highlight underneath my eyes. This wasn't a bad concealer, of course. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad concealer at all. But personally, I kind of like to be a little more brighter underneath my eyes, so I would probably pair it with a little more lighter if you're kind of like me. But if you're looking for that natural no makeup makeup look, this is really pretty to have. The foundation stick is a iconic foundation stick. I was put on this foundation stick by Jackie Ina. Jackie Ina used this foundation stick to contour with and I tried to contour with the 555 but it really didn't show up well on my skin. But the 550 is a really pretty shade to put on um, your found, uh, as a foundation. So if you're more in my shade range, which is the Makeup Forever 180 kind of family, definitely pick this up as a kind of quick alternative to put on foundation, blend out, have a little bit of sunscreen protection in your out the door type of ordeal. And then last but not least, the click stick is really, 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 really pretty as a natural highlight. I would definitely keep this and also probably purchase all the other ones as well to put in my kit to use on brides and also on any clients who are looking for more of a natural glow instead of a ultra highlighting sheen so this is really pretty to have in your collection all right guys so this pretty much wraps up the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i also want to give a personal shout out to influencer and lancome thank you lancome for sending influencers 
these particular products to try out. My honest review and opinion on these are as is. This is not a sponsored video. Um, but yet, these were given to me to review, and I decided to, of course, come here on YouTube to review them for you guys. These are some great products to have as a staple in your everyday life, or in kits, of course, because they are easy to blend, effortless, and also it gives a nice, natural finish. So, other than that, I want to give a thumbs up to all four items. You guys get four stars from me, four out of four. Um... Nonetheless, I will end this video here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Don't take it personal, personal, personal. Look, don't take it personal, personal, personal. I need you to promise me. I know it hurts, no, hurts, no, hurts, no. That you're not gonna take it like that. I don't want it. Nah, nah, nah.